Daddy, you go crazy. Okay, so look, at some point, um, you maneuver from the north side of Chicago to the <laughs> to the to the south side of Chicago. Yeah. Um and and, and, and you began dating Ken Yella. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You and Ken Yella end up getting engaged? Yes, and it went viral. I was at work, I got off of work, and then I come home with all these roses and stuff. I'm like, what is this? He talking about uh, will you marry me? I'm like, yeah, I will, <laughs> of course. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. So you say you got you came you came home from work and it was like what rose petals on the floor? And yeah, shit? rose petals on the floor and um like some candles and stuff like that in At the, the bathroom. Crib? Yep. Okay. And then the bathtub was bubbly with some nice champagne. It was real nice. Let me find out, yellow a romantic <laughs> nigga. Yes, yes, I, it was like that. Okay, so you all, uh, well, okay, so he popped the question. You said yes. Mm -hmm. um, how do you all move forward from there as a couple? Uh, we was just living our little best life. Uh, he was shooting his little videos, and I was just working on my little uh, crafting because I like, um, you know, getting girls together, dressing them and stuff like that, and putting their little makeup on, you know, for people video shoots and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So I really had a lot of friends and stuff, and all of us stick together, you know, to get cute, get dressed up to go to different video shoots. And like, and you will see like the girls who I be with in back of my day videos, I'm still, we still day one, A1. So you will still see them and like, they had, you know, we as we progressed and got older and stuff like that, we still do the same thing, still get dressed and do videos and like, yeah, that's really much, that's how we lived our life and stuff like that. Okay. So when did things start to um, go downhill, sir, I guess? Yeah. Cause, Cause even like he, and, so at a point you all were engaged, did mm -hmm. you all get, did you all get married? No, we never okay. got married. Right. So, when did things start to get a little rocky? Um, things got rocky. I hope my feet ain't dirty. The nigga be like, how feet dirty? No, let me put my shoes on. For the, they be talking. About. Okay, look. Now what you said? I said, when did things start getting to, rocky? Yeah. With me and y'all. Um, the honest truth is, and I'm gonna just say this, and I'm gonna just say it like that, like we was just not having um, things going right. Like he had like a little anger problem mm -hmm. and like, I'm, I probably, I'm not gonna just blame it all on him, but I probably like irked the nerve by me talking or whatever. You know how I be like spicing things up or whatever the case may be. So it's just like, we was just keep arguing and stuff like that. And we was just not clashing together. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess we needed our own space or something, mm -hmm. but. So at some point um, behind y'all differences, you caught um, a, 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 a thing with Lil J. Yeah. And so, that was that was yellow homie. They were friends, right? Yeah, they was like best friends. Day one, A one, homies. Okay. Yeah. So how did that how did how did that happen? Uh, how it happened was I was, they was letting me drive, I was driving Lil J cars, just doing stuff, going to the studio, just being there, whatever the case may be. But then Lil J started popping up in my crib unexpectedly without calling, yelling in. But just calling him, he just came, keep coming, whatever. So I guess, like, I don't know how it happened. We, me and Yella broke up. And um, Yellow, me and Yellow broke up. Lil J came through my inbox. I, and then that's why I want to clarify too. Lil J steady saying I was on his bumper, I was in his inbox. On my mama, I never was on nobody, no nigga. Like, I don't got to chase no nigga. So, what the fuck I'm going to be in your inbox? So, no, Shorty, you was thirsty for me. You was kept calling me. I kept ignoring you. I'm thinking it's Yellow calling me like, yeah, um, could you please take me back? Ooh, ooh, whole time it's you on my bumper, steady saying, "Oh, uh, I'm not with yellow. What's up, shorty? I'ma take you, you and out your friends out." Ritter, ritter, ritter. Whole time I'm still like 
okay, no. You feel me? Daddy is probably yelling. You feel me? Like, no, he inboxing me. Steady calling. I got the proof right here. Like, stop playing. This was seven years ago. Like, for real, for real. I'll do that to you. Like, stop playing. But anyway, back to the story. Um, long story short, he came to my inbox, and then I eventually got up with him, or whatever the case may be, like that. He came, picked me up, took me straight to Hooters, because I'm hungry, Same and shit. I'm trying to get in smoke, all type of shit, like Same that. Shit. You right. feel me? Like, if you trying to talk to me, you got to come correct, period, because on my mama, even though yellow, ruda, ruda, he was coming correct too. Like, you yeah. feel me? Like, that's what it is. Cause I'm not them type of females. I ain't doing shit for free. I'm not fucking with no nigga for free. Like, you gotta come correct. Fuck with me. So, that's yeah. what it is like that. For sure. So, next sure. question. So, when you say come correct, tell us. Like, you know, if, 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 a, nigga, if a nigga pursuing you right now, he gotta come correct. What does that mean? Tell of him, course. Well, what does that mean? Uh, basically, like, just come correct. Like, if you trying to fuck with me, I ain't saying just you got to give me money straight like that. But I ain't fucking with no broke-ass nigga, no bum-ass nigga, none of that. Like, you basically just got to come correct. And if you probably a broke, bum-ass nigga, you better do something so special <laughs> that was so cheap in your power to make me happy or something like that. For to win me over, that's it. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so now I do want to ask you though, right? Um, did you ever, did you ever feel like, you know, it was, it was in the wrong for you to be messing with Lil J, cause that's Ken Yella homie? Uh, I don't get no fuck, fuck that. Like, that shit so over with, like. But I mean, even back then, you ain't, what, what, what was your mentality back then? Like, this was your fiance, this his homie, like, you know, you, know, you know niggas get into it over shit like that, right? I know, that's why they still into it now. They right. still, so, this still what I'm trying to say. seven years and y'all still into it. With, that's on their ass. I don't even get no fuck. But, but, but do you understand from a man's perspective is what I'm I wondering. I do understand. Then I just say, I don't get no fuck. Fuck both of them. I don't get no fuck. I fuck with you, yellow, okay, boom. I fuck with you, Lil J, okay, boom. That's what it is. I don't, I ain't finna look past seven years ago. Like I basically Nah, said. nah, nah, I'm asking you, what was you thinking seven years ago? Okay, yeah, I'm like, dang. You, uh, what you gonna do, Lil J? Cause, uh, I fuck with yellow, you know your homie. So what y'all gonna do? Cause Lil J like, I'm fucking with you, shorty. You gonna be my bitch. I'm you gonna be my wife. I'm being with you. I'm gonna take care of you. I'll handle yellow. That's the real honest truth. I said, okay, well, okay, that's that's what's gonna happen. Okay, go handle them. That, that, I'm, I'm behind you, Lil J. Okay. Right. Right. That's the truth. Okay, that's okay, what y'all right. want to hear. That's what he, that's what he said. Yeah. And, you like, and it, I said, on. fuck right. it, come on. You okay, feel me? Right. So it was that, like, ain't no extra question. I was gonna be with him, and that's what it was, shit. For and sure, you for can sure. see, it would have been. <laughs> I like that. All this. I like that, see? Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> DJ, you go crazy!